All I gotta say is holy shit. God damn. This bills ain't for the average person. We're probably into the car for like 25 grand. And we ain't average. Crazy, I've been waiting a long time to paint a car this color. Yo, he killed it. I think this car is gonna be one of the best ones that we've built yet. I'll better ourselves on every build. Yo, Corey, you killed this car, bro. All I gotta say is this is it. I don't think I wanna put interior back in this car, man. You just go over the top and one of 600 ever made. I think you should just give the car to Jordan. This car needs to go to J Rock. Drop in the comments. Tell my brother to give J Rock his car. Corey, if you are watching this, you did a killer job. <laughs> What up, what up guys? Today is a special day. I am gonna reveal the color that we painted. I don't know if a lot of you guys remember, we had that red EGSI hatch from a while back. We stripped it, set it off to paint. You guys commented below colors. Today we're gonna to pick that car up from Corey, one of our great friends, good painter, Corey Paint. So my brother's heading up to him today to go pick the car up. I am gonna reveal the color in this video, so stay tuned. We are heading up to New York to go pick the car up and then you guys get to see what color it is. What's up guys? Finally here after a couple hours. I'm super excited. I get the same feeling every time I pick up a car. I'm gonna walk in together right now, gonna get my reaction. So let's go ahead and see this car. Before I turn this camera around, all I gotta say is holy <laughs> crazy. I've been waiting a long time to paint a car this color. I've been going back and forth with the colors that I chose. All I gotta say is this is it. I hope you guys are ready. One, two, three. Yo, Corey, you killed this thing, man. Thanks, bro. I'm glad you liked it. Make sure the engine goes out. Wow. Yo, what do you think about the color choice? I like it. It's good. It's different. I think it's going to be surprising to some people. It's not blue, so everyone's going to be real surprised. <laughs> Once again, look at that body right there. Clean, straight. Yo, Corey, you fucking killed this car, bro. From what it was to what it is now is like crazy. Yeah, well, you know, you've seen it. You know, the thing is, I don't, yeah, I, I never have to second question, like, second guess your work, because I already know it's going to come out. We've been dealing with you for a long time, but yeah, man, no, 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 this no. car is. I it's just different, you know? Yeah, I always try to do the right thing for you guys, you know what I mean? All my customers really for that matter. I don't think I want to put interior back in this car, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. This car looks a lot better outside than it does inside. <laughs> Body. Yo, I'm super excited, man. Good, bro. You know how like you can tell you got a good paint job too. Like you ever see like the side of the cars, they look hazy when the cars are painted, like shitty bodywork underneath <laughs> the paint. Like this, you can tell is like straight. Oh, you know we see it sometimes, man. I get, I get some. The logo was for sure. <laughs> this car is super clean. I didn't even get any pictures. Of yeah, it. I gotta get a picture of two before you put it. Nobody know about the car, right? No, nobody. Nobody knows. All right, guys, we're loaded up. Made a quick pit stop real quick at BBS Sam just to get an update on my black car. Give you guys an update because I've been at, getting asked a lot about this car. So it's almost done. And I'm just going to give you guys a little sneak peek of what it's going to look like. If you guys remember, this hood had multiple dings in it. This thing, don't mind the primer marks, but there's not a single dent. There's not a single ding in this hood anymore. Got the car primed up. Kind of hard to pick it up on camera, but no more dents. This car is straight now, 100%. I cannot wait to get 
this car back he said maybe a couple more weeks i'm going to show you guys the fender this is going to be crazy oh we're, we didn't just want to paint the fender no we paint the whole car i thought you said just paint the fender no nah, bro the whole car but let's just oh. show youtube damn look at that fender and mind you this fender has dust on it right now because it's been sitting for a little while before i got here a couple days or whatever now i got no dust there you go it's hard for this camera to pick up how deep this black is but it's just crazy and this is what you said one one coat of clear uh no two coats two coats yeah i thought you just wanted the the fender painted bro you said prime the car and paint the fender <laughs> whole car painted. <laughs> the whole car. I ain't gonna lie, look kind of fire that two tone. This shit's going pink. This is a little sneak peek for you guys what the car's gonna look like. This black is just like insane. This is a special black that he kind of mixed up, his own special paint code. So don't ask me what the paint code is for this black because I don't know. Super excited for this car to be done. I can't wait to get it back. He said uh, tomorrow, right? It'll be done. <laughs> you said do the fender, now I gotta do the <laughs> It's the next day here, so we're gonna go inside, grab the guys right now, get the reaction. My brother, obviously, he's not here yet, but we'll get his reaction later. So let's get in there, get the guys. It's been a long couple months. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm excited. To I'm see ready, you. and I'm not ready. <laughs> that means it's build time. Look who decided to show up to the party, huh? Did I miss anything? You excited? Excited for what? You know, it's been a couple months since we've seen this car. I want to see it. All right, let's go. God damn. Crazy, right? God damn. Yo, Corey, if you're watching this, you did a killer job. How do you think the pink quality looks? That's what I'm looking, right? So on the EG hatch, the, the roofs are usually messed up. This thing is like perfect. It's good. It's really good. The camera's probably not gonna be able to pick it up, but it's good. Yo, it looks like a factory paint job. It's really good. That's great. The last time I seen a paint job this good was the Red EM1. Yeah. That's the last time I seen something this nice. Yo, he killed it. Oh, he's a beast. He's a I beast. wanted that because I got an aggressive fitment to, uh, wheel for this. Detail on here. If you guys can feel that quarter fiddle, Everybody always cries that we paint these, so I, let, I painted these black for you guys. This car is actually, I think, a 95. It should have been painted, but I left them black this time on this car. Explain, like, what are you gonna do, what the build is, or no, not yet, in the next video? No. Yo, the crazy part is this color, in different lighting, it, it flops. It's dark inside. Can I put this next to your BMW? Yeah. I want to know by default after you build it, you should just give it to me. I think so. I right. think we should build it for Jordan. Well, since he already gave up the color code, this is an individual color from an F80 M3. Oh, it's the same? Yeah, same well, color I code. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I'll, I'll pull this shit out right This there. color, I've been going back and forth for almost a month. It was this color. It was going to be the orange NSX off the newer NSX, or it was going to be the orange from the, the new Civic Si. I don't know. Jordan's right. You might as well just give this car to Jordan. What made me go with this color is, is Jordan. Every time he drives up and down the street, I'm like, damn, that car looks so good. I'm like, I got to paint a hatchback that color. So that's why I picked his color. And the nice thing about his color too, there's no pearl. I, I'm not really a fan of pearl paint. This, per, this paint doesn't have any pearl in it. But it has like a nice flop to it though, like I said, in different lighting. Yo, Corey, if you are watching this, you did a f killer job. Yeah, yesterday when I picked up the car, there's too many people around, so I couldn't really show my excitement and really go into detail about the car, but they painted, man, they painted this car too. They painted a lot of our cars. They painted this blue one, they painted my black one back like 2018, they painted the and they car. painted the all motor car. 
They paint These guys do a killer job. Corey, thank you. You really killed it on this one. I mean, all the cars are amazing, but this one right here is like... Yeah, Corey and Fabian painted these older cars. Yeah, but these cars were painted like... This car was painted back in 2020, I want to say. That was like 2018, 2019. Same thing, like 2018, 2019, that car was painted. Corey does a killer job. Pull this thing out, I wanna see it. I don't know if the camera could kinda of pick up, but Jordan's car is kinda of sitting in the shade. You can't really compare the color difference because Jordan's car got tint, it got black wheels right now. So this car looks lighter, but if he had all that stuff removed, it'll be pretty damn close. We should do a carbon roof to kinda of match that car, no? I think you should just give the car to Jordan. I'm with him on that. I like I like that idea. I think, I think, you, should, uh, I think you should I think you should give the car to J-Rock. I like that. Put in the comments if they should give it to you. You're, you're fired. No. <laughs> I want you guys to drop in the comments what engine setup you think we're gonna put in here. We already have this already planned out if you guys watched in the previous video. But what motor do you guys want to see go in here? Basically get into detail on what you guys want to see. Obviously it's a case swap because the mountain shades. Like he said, is it gonna be all motor, turbo, nitrous, supercharged. Or supercharged? Comment below. Also comment below what wheels should we put on here? I like black. I think black would be fire. Do you guys like the color? What do you guys think? Do you guys like the overall build? Inside, outside? This is a full, this is the first car that we painted inside, outside on the channel for a full build. I'm excited. We, we've done this in the past. If somebody look at this car, like there's not a single nut and bolt inside the car, no wiring, pretty much start from scratch. We bring it back to like 2001 and do like orange or white wheels. You're gonna paint the door, door panels? panels? Yeah. Paint the door panels yeah. on this motherfucker? It's, <laughs> no. it's too late. I'll give you guys a hint. I already started. You couldn't resist. There People are gonna ask for those decals because you can't even get those decals right now. You gonna give me a secret? No, I've been, I've been giving away too many, everything. too many gems. This is stuff that I've been working on over the years and I can't just be handing them out. If you guys want gems, cash at me. I'll cash send you some gems. <laughs> For those of you guys that are gonna ask, we've been getting a lot of DMs on customer bills and if we're gonna take any working at the moment, we are not taking any working at the moment. We have our hands full here to probably till way over end of the season between race cars, build cars, and just stuff going on here at the shop. So at the moment, we currently aren't taking in any customer work. But if you ever need any advice or any questions on anything or where to get stuff, just shoot us a message, we'll be happy to help you. But at the moment, sorry, I can't refer anybody that does this type of work either because I don't know anyone that does really good quality work on Hondas. There's a bunch of people out there. I just personally, I've never dealt with it. People think of Honda, they think of cheap, right? There's no such thing as cheap anymore. Like the market's changed, everything's changed. This shell alone, believe it or not, with buying the car, shipping it, and painting it, we're probably into the car for like 25 grand, no lie. I say the same thing. Yeah, so for you, you guys get... watching, you guys want a car in this level, you should expect to paint, you know, between buying the car and all that other stuff, you're gonna be into the car for at least 20 to 25 grand for, an, for a show quality paint job. You know, obviously, if you have a regular car, you're probably not gonna wanna spend that much money, but if you're looking for a build on this level, that's what it's gonna cost to do something like this. But uh, for us, too, because we're gonna obviously put a lot of labor into this car, a lot of hours, so it's probably gonna have well over 100 hours worth of labor into the car. So that's why we don't really do full builds like this for customers. If you guys want swaps and stuff like that, cool, we could do that. But we've been getting a lot of messages to do stuff like this, and it's, for us, it's just not worth it. If you guys want this build, paint job and stuff like that, the people I can refer you guys to is BBS Sam, Mayhem, or Corey. You guys can feel free to message those guys. Once again, those guys also run full on shops. They deal with insurance jobs and stuff like that. So when they do stuff like this, it's because they love doing it. It's because they have a passion for this just like us. So you gotta be patient. Like you guys seen, we dropped this car off almost four months ago and we're just now getting it back. And you guys gotta realize like how much money did they make on this? They probably didn't make that much money to paint this car for us, you know? Versus an insurance job that would pay them a lot more. You know, they do this out of their passion, the love for the sport. I appreciate those guys. Building for the average person and we ain't average. Yeah, and that's why we're gonna give this motherfucker you know, to you. The I'm, best part is, at some point, one of you guys is gonna win this car. We do this stuff because we love to do it. We love building these cars and we love giving them off to somebody that's gonna enjoy them. That's dope, you guys get to watch the full build series eventually as you guys know we're gonna give this ECI car this green hatchback away at some point I don't know the dates yet but while we do that this will be going on this shouldn't take too too long we got a car to build we're going to Honda day we are going to World Cup finals there's so many events to go to and our anniversary is coming up yeah. super we're dope Honda Fest this weekend yeah it's gonna be insane so stay tuned I appreciate you guys watching drop in the comments what you guys think of the car what swap do you guys want to see here what setup what wheels this is your Peace car out. this is Jared's car this is my car let them know, drop in the comments.
See, look at him. He knows. This is Jarek's car. On my side. Yeah, Jarek's my car. I love you, Alfred. <laughs> Morning, guys. What you doing over there? It's all about the details, right? This is the, the little things that make me happy. I don't care about putting the motor in or any of that, but the brand new OEM parts. So we got brand new hood prop. So we're starting to put like small assembly. So I figure I'll try to get everything that I can for you guys. New OEM belt moldings here. So my brother ordered these thin side moldings. These are unavailable from the dealer. Someone made a pre-order for those a while ago. I think he bought like 10 sets of them. We built a lot of easy hatches. So the thin moldings are the best moldings to put on these cars. Good call on buying those. What you got right here? A new hardware and uh, antenna block off. So we got a brand new antenna block off with a uh, new gasket from Honda. New uh, bolts to put back in here. We have new roof moldings we're going to put on. So we're going to try to get this car fully undercoated before we move forward on anything. So that's the next step after all this. And then start assembly of the actual car. <laughs> <laughs> it's only right, baby. No, you're gonna make me nervous. I'm gonna scratch this paint. Getting the car all taped up so we can undercoat it. I must say the black on the orange looks really good. The boys decided to do silver hardware in the bay. I'm just starting to put that on now. We are gonna tape everything off to get the wheel wells undercoated. We're gonna start underneath the black emblem with the black moldings. I think this car's gonna come along. It's gonna look really good. The black accents on the orange really, really bring it out. Right now we're gonna pull the car out, get the full car taped up, undercoat or Raptor liner, whatever you wanna call it. I think this car's gonna be one of the best ones that we've Built yet. For anyone that's interested in doing this to their car, this is what we use. Raptor liners truck bedding. This stuff works really, really good. Got a bunch of cans of it. They sell this, they have full kits of this you can use with an air gun or if you want to put it on by like, obviously a rattle can. Quick change of plans. I guess we're doing the whole car. I got the whole car pretty much power washed underneath. Wheel was power washed, clean, dried up. And then we're shooting the Raptor liner. He's actually shooting with the full kit today. I didn't know that. Guys, you guys are watching. I tried to cut corners today and I didn't like the outcome of it. The spray cans do not work. They don't leave a nice They work here. sometimes. depending no. on what you use it on. No, they don't It work. depends on how clean the wheel well, well is, clean the, uh, Yeah, how clean the wheel wells are. But this one has a small little imperfection. So this is good because I can spray it from a distance and it'll leave a nice texture throughout the wheel well. So. So you can buy the whole kit. Raptor Liner sells. Raptor Liner, if you're watching this, sponsor your boy. But uh, you go comes with the whole with kit. I got, yeah, I got a question from somebody the other day too. It's not, we don't use undercoating, we use truck bedding. So this is nice because once it dries up, it hardens really nice. You can wipe it, clean it, do whatever you want to it, and it won't come off. He's already started spraying some of it. see that texture right there? It's hard to the get the camera could pick it up, but at sun. least a nice, even texture. So you want to spray like far away from it to get a nice texture. The closer you go, the smoother it is, the further away you get, the more texture it puts down. Yeah, man, this is the worst and the shittiest part about the build right here is the uh, truck bedding the car, but uh, it's not too, too bad. The thing is the prep work, the prep, prep is key. So the car's all pretty much taped off, masked off, and then uh, we should be good to go. All right, while the boys are doing that, I'm gonna show you my latest pickup. I wanna give a huge shout out, huge thanks to Alex at Humble Performance for selling me his 2021 Civic Type R, one of 600 ever made. This is like a collector's car. I'm just gonna show you guys around the car real quick. I don't know what the plans for this are gonna be, but I always wanted one and now I have one. This car number, I think like 439, I think. It has like 2,000 miles. Still has all the plastic from the dealer. This car is beautiful. I put it behind the NSX so I could show you guys a difference in color. My NSX is a lot darker than this. This, I don't know what I'd compare it to yet. Maybe the ITR yellow is close to it, but I don't know. Drop in the comments, what's the name of the color? I don't know it off the top of my head. It looks good overall. It has the BBS wheels on here. I'm gonna show you guys the interior. Interior is brand new. Still has all the tags. Tags on the Navi, on the seats, even on the sun visors. Car is brand new, literally. So you guys, the back seats and all the floor mats and stuff, everything's in the trunk. Such an amazing car. It's like crazy what these cars have become. Honestly, I like them. But overall, solid car. Huge shout out to Alex at Humble. Thank you. The steering wheel is still even in the plastic. This is car number, yeah, car number 439. Like I told you guys, one of 600. So even has a factory plastic on the door cards. Amazing, amazing, amazing car. But yeah, the yellows are definitely different. Can't compare them. I think this is more yellow of like ITR, like the RX-7. I think it kind of looks the same as, but definitely a dope, dope car. Always wanted one, now I have one. Don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. 
Definitely gonna keep it stock. Probably put it in my garage. I let it sit there like the rest of the cars, but super, super dope car. So the boys are gonna wrap their liner the underneath the whole car today. It needs a full day to dry. Then we're gonna build it sometime next week. So I can't wait to start that. I'll tell you too, my brother needs to give you the car. After Absolutely. Drop in the comments, tell my brother to give J-Rock his car. This belongs with him because he has an orange BMW. This will go perfect. I don't, I don't even have a street car anyways. You know, this would be great. That's for, what I'm saying. Perfect candidate he got right a shit ton of cars. I got a lot of cars. This car goes to you. This car needs to go to J-Rock. I'm with that all day. Yeah, I'm with it too. Also want to give another huge shout out to Corey for painting this car. This car came out amazing. Love it. He did an amazing job. You guys seen the car before. It was like, it wasn't a shit box, but it was pretty rough. So Corey, if you're watching this, thanks again, bro. Appreciate you. Well, pretty much got the wheel wells only undercoated for now. And then we are going to put the car in a lift, drape it off and get the underneath bomb. Pretty much good for the show for now for our three year. Next week, we're going to get rolling on buttoning the car up. Huge plans with this. I think it's going to come along. Probably one of the best cars that we've built yet to date. The thing is, right, we want to out better ourselves on every build, right? And just go over the top and keep pushing and see what we could do new. There's going to be a lot of new stuff we're going to do in this car for the first time. And I'm excited. J-Rock, I like your car already. Right? I yeah. appreciate it. Yo, since it's going to be my car, <laughs> can we do that, uh, that heat treatment on the exhaust too? In we, black, that would be fire. We the can whole, the, the whole, whole exhaust. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we said we're going to step it up from the last build, right? Like, what can we do different? Oh, Whoever the, coated their exhaust. It's a, it's a hunt, so uh, I just spray painted for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's, a, what's a hunt without spray paint? Exactly. <laughs> it's looking good. I got most of it done hey, underneath. I just want to show you guys something in detail, right? Look at the paint line. Like, everything is clean. There's no, like, overspray. Even the little tow hook, all that stuff. We still gotta do some finishing details, but it's looking good. I like it. And when you guys paint your cars, please paint back there. Take off your bumper and paint that. I hate when they're not painted back there. Yes. I'm gonna close this video out. In the next video, you'll see the car going together, all the parts laid out that we have for the car. We'll announce the build that we're doing for the car, interior, we'll kind of get more into it. I'm gonna try to get every single detail for you guys, even the stuff that you guys can't see, because George is talking about nickel plating and zinc plating, all the interior stuff that is underneath the panels, which is dope. So I'm gonna get that for you guys. Why not? I mean, nobody's ever gonna see it, but at least we know it's done. Like, yeah, why not? exactly. I love that. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Drop in the comments. This car is J-Rock's car. I want J-Rock to have this car when we're done.